Hi, I'm Anastasia from Tech City News, and today we're at Huckle Tree, the UK's first sustainable co-working space for your week in tech. Chinese networking giant Huawei have acquired UK startup Nuao for a reported $25 million. The startup makes components to help everyday items become part of the Internet of Things. It's been reported that Huawei plan to use New Owl's R&D base in Cambridge to build a centre for excellence of connected technologies. Payment giant PayPal have bitten the bullet and will now be enabling Bitcoin payments. PayPal has partnered with three Bitcoin payment processors to help certain North American retailers accept the cryptocurrency. It marks a significant moment in Bitcoin history and could be the start of the virtual currency's introduction into the mainstream. With its smartphone sales plummeting, BlackBerry have changed tact, announcing Passport, a handset with a distinctively large square screen. The keyboard spans both physical keys and part of the touchscreen, and the plan is to target what BlackBerry calls the power professionals, people who care about content. It has a 4.5-inch screen with better resolution than the iPhone 6, a promised battery life of 25 hours, and its own version of Siri, but will it be enough to improve sales? This week's download is Pingtune, the easy way to share music with your friends. Here's Henry to tell you more. There is a wealth of great music on the web today through a number of different music sources. Pingtune gives you access to all of that music and connects you to your friends and artists that you may love, all from the convenience of your mobile phone. Pingtune, the music messaging app, is the future of music and it's available right now on iOS or Android. And finally, bendable phones are here, but unfortunately it was an unplanned feature for Apple as many iPhone 6 Plus users reported that their £700 smartphone was bending in their pockets. The negative spotlight on Apple then increased when they released an iOS update that blocked some users from even being able to unlock their phone. But it's not all bad news, Japanese creators have announced the thumb extender, which will help you cope with the larger screen of the iPhone. This has been your Week in Tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.